What is going on, everybody? Um, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We are taking out this 2024 Aprilia Touareg 660. Um, and the microphone um, wasn't working properly. So my audio got messed up. And I thought... Let's do a voiceover video. I've been meaning to do one. I need to learn how to do uh, voiceover videos for a couple future projects I have coming up. So I was thinking of this as an opportunity. Um, there will be some benefits to a voiceover video also because I'll, I'll have some uh, specs that I wouldn't normally have memorized um, but doing it this way it's going to be much easier now I start all my reviews all my rides off with a big thanks to Blackman Cycle in Emmaus um, they let me ride these beautiful bikes and I really appreciate it um, if you're interested and you want to get yourself a new bike if you want a uh, Aprilia Touareg 660 like this or a Moto Guzzi, a Yamaha, a Honda, a Vespa, a CF Moto call my buddy Spencer, uh, salesman extraordinaire down at Blackman's and he'll help you out. I'll put um, his information and Blackman's information in the description all right uh, so next thing I would normally talk about is my height and weight uh, because that's relevant to the bike I am uh, six foot two 230 pounds and uh, relevant to how I ride the bike I guess you would say um, I, of course, had no problem flat-footing this bike. Uh, all, all of the bikes I ride, I, I could flat-foot. Um, but it is a 33.9-inch seat height, which is a little bit on the tall side. Um, if you're a shorter rider, you might be on tiptoe. Um, don't let this discourage you. You know, I grew up riding dirt bikes that I was not tall enough to touch the ground and it's not that big a deal you learn to work your way around it I see uh, I had a friend she was four foot ten she had a GSX-R750 and uh, she used her left leg as a kickstand that's what I did on dirt bikes if you use your left leg as a kickstand, so you're coming to a stop, you stick your left leg out. That way you have your right foot available to uh, step on the rear brake. That way you could even do it on a hill, and it's not going to bother you. Um, the bike is 412 pounds dry. She has a 4.8 gallon tank and that makes her probably around 450 pounds uh, with fluid. So that's a little bit of a chunky dual sport. This is considered an adventure bike so it's a really light ADV bike. Um, I think it could work it's both actually and I'm gonna gush over this bike uh, quite a bit in this review because I've been thinking about her ever since I got done um, this bike is so good um, but where was I uh, 450 pound weight right and um, she has the 660 engine that's in the Tuono naked bike and it's also the bike they use in their sport bike um, 
it's about 80 horsepower well it is 80 horsepower and 51.6 foot-pounds of torque um, this bike is gonna be tuned a little different than the other two bikes and it's gonna be geared uh, much differently it's gonna be it's gonna have much lower gears um, and you're gonna need that for for the dirt work and um, I've heard this bike is extremely capable off-road I have not had the, the opportunity to take it off-road I ride these brand new bikes from Blackman's and uh, I'm not taking them off-road maybe when I have a hundred thousand subscribers I'll be able to uh, get a bike from Aprilia and then I can take it off road and maybe beat on it a little bit. So if you have not subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it. I'm just about at a thousand subscribers. Another week or so and I'll be there. Um, so back to the bike. I'm hopped off here. Take a little look around her. Um, I want to mention, I was pointing it out earlier in the video, but the stock mirrors they're actually really good um, I usually don't like these stock mirrors on most bikes uh, but for what this bike is they're really well made uh, they're functional um, they're wide and low so um, you can see really well you, 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 they've got a, a nice view from from the uh, stock mirrors, I got some big beefy feet, foot pegs that I was just pointing out there. Uh, dual Brembo brakes up front, and this bike has a a steel steel tube trellis frame, and the engine uh, I think is attached at six different points. We have a five inch, beautiful five inch TFT dash up there. Um, we got four riding modes with this bike. One off-road mode, uh, two customizable modes. Uh, traction control, you got cruise control. Um, now that I have, I have a ZX-10R and now that I have cruise control, I found I use it a little more than I thought I would and on a bike that could be used for touring, great feature. Um, plus the Aprilia electronics are really good. You could uh, change the engine mapping, you could change the engine braking. Um, this is a great bike. I really like this bike. Um, we have the 21 inch front tire up front and in the back we have the uh, 18 inch and they have uh, their tubeless tires um, tubeless tires with uh, fully adjustable Kayaba suspension. Now the tires, they have uh, Pirelli. Where, where do we got that? We have uh, the Pirelli Scorpion tires, the STR. Um, those are really nice tires. And even though this bike has a 21 inch front tire uh, with, with, with knobbies, Riding it on the street, it, it, if you had closed your eyes or if you had somebody ride this bike and they didn't know it was a 21 inch front tire, it it handles it handles like there's a, um, a 19 up front. It handles so well. This bike is so balanced. 
you know, even at 450 pounds, it feels really light. It handles really well. Um, I really like this bike. Um, the ABS is uh, able to be disabled totally. Or you could just turn off the rear, uh, which is the most important part because when you're riding in the dirt, in case you don't know this, some, some people don't know, um, you need to be able to lock up the rear brake because you want to be able to uh, switch the weight from the front of the bike to the rear of the bike so the front doesn't wash out in loose gravel or... Um, yeah, um, you want to be able to lock up the rear if need be. Um, she's $12,299. Um, seems like a decent price for a fine Italian motorcycle that can be a tour that, that handles great on the street that can go off road I think I like I said I would take this on some single tracks I really am considering get one of these from my garage um, it could just do so much and and um, I think she's a fine looking bike too this bike was uh, designed by a famous designer Miguel Galuzzi at Piaggio. There is another voiceover fact right there. <laughs> In case you know your motorcycle designers. Um, but yeah, it was really well designed. It's really well thought out. Uh, you know, the 21 inch tubeless tires and the 9.4 uh, four inches of uh, suspension travel that works really well on the street but apparently works just as well off-road um, that's a feat you know there's a lot of things done just so well with this bike um, um, what else would I like to mention to you now this has nothing to do with the bike but if you decide that you want to start recording your rides um, on my helmet there is the Insta360 Ace Pro and uh, in a second here when we switch views and you're looking up at the handlebars um, that's the Insta360 One RS um, there it is and uh, I'll put a link for both of those, I'll put a link for Insta360 in the description. Um, if you decide you want to start recording your rides, you know, you buy it through the link, uh, you'll help the channel out a little bit, and you'll get a free gift. I'll get a little something, and uh, yeah. So that'll be in the description along with the, the info for Blackman's. Um, what else do I want to say about this Parallel Twin? Um, other than the fact that, that I really enjoyed riding on the street and I've been talking to a lot of people, before I even take these bikes out, I, I talk to people about them. Um, I talk to as many people as I can that own them. I ask them what they think. I ask them if they've had any problems with them. Um, and then I read up about them. And there's a lot of people who had told me they had uh, bought Yamaha Teneres. And they hadn't even thought it was a Prilia or they didn't live close to an Aprilia dealer. And then they ended up switching. Um, now the Yamaha, I didn't get to ride one of those yet. Um, I will sometime this year, I hope. Um, 
But that's a fine motorcycle, I've been told. But this uh, this here Touareg is even a little more versatile than the Tenere. Now, that's a big argument online. I've been, <laughs> I've been looking and, uh, you know, you got fans of both, um, obviously. Uh, that's one of the greatest things about motorcycling is that we're spoiled for choice. And if you live in the eastern part of Pennsylvania, uh, you are lucky to be living near um, a couple Aprilia dealers, um, which is which is awesome because I'm I'm starting to have a real affinity for these bikes, and I will at one point have one. Um, but like I said, uh, people who did not know about the Touareg and have the Yamaha. Some of them now have both bikes <laughs> because they tried the uh, Aprilia and loved it so much. Some have sold the Yamaha. And I'm sure there are some people that have gone about it in the opposite direction and started with the Aprilia and gone to the Yamaha. But I've heard more of... Uh, uh, the people discovering the Tuareg after they already got their Tenere or Tenere. That's a, so the names. Um, I'm going to look that up. I think that has something to do with mountains. I'll find out. If you know, put it in the description. What's a Tenere? Tenere. <laughs> I don't know if it's as good as the Tuareg name. A nomad of the Sahara but uh, put it in there if uh, you know uh, also tell me what you think of this voiceover video uh, I'm wondering I'm not a big talker and one of the great things about doing the reviews on the bike while I'm riding is I don't have to talk as much but uh, I'm getting used to it huh um, so if you haven't subscribed I'd appreciate it you know if you want to there's gonna be a whole lot of bike reviews coming um, as long as Blackman still likes me uh, <laughs> a lot of more bike reviews um, my personal bikes right now I have a 2024 uh, CX-10R 40th anniversary edition and I'm gonna be uh, doing some modifications on that and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to record as much as possible. I also have a uh, ZX or ZX uh, a Z900. Now I love my little Z900 naked bike. I call it little. Now that I got the ZX10, right? Um, but that's gonna be my touring bike this summer because of the, that's what I have. Uh, I keep thinking about this bike, this Tuareg, because, oh my gosh, I think it would be a, a great touring bike. That's one of the reasons, uh, along with being able to go off-road. Um, there aren't too many adventure bikes that I want to take off-road. This bike I would. Like, I kept thinking about it, and I'm still thinking about it. Um, so yeah, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. You'll see a, a lot more stuff like this and stuff on my Z900 touring bike this summer. <laughs> Naked touring bike and my ZX-10R. If you're enjoying the video, I'd appreciate throwing up a like. It helps a lot. The more likes, the more they show the videos. and uh, That's what it's all about, right? Um, I've been having a great time making these videos, doing these reviews, and this was one of my favorite ones. This bike was one of my favorite ones. Uh, I had fallen in love with Moto Guzzi uh, V85 TT Travel, and that was my favorite touring bike at the or touring bike adventure bike at the moment. 
but this one would be a close it would be a it would be a tough decision like i would rather take this one off road um i think i'd like to do uh bigger miles on the motor gucci um but i think this one would be great anyway well anyway thanks for checking out my video thanks for putting up with my voiceover uh give me a comment and uh lots more to come yeah and uh i appreciate it and uh i will talk to you all later